What's going on guys, this is Cody from the Foul Mood Team. I just posted that beaver tail duck blind review and a few of you approached me and let me know you wanted to see the boat review. So this today's gonna be the review of my 1548 Sportsman T made by Tracker. It's a Grizzly John boat, so stay tuned. Thanks. So up here at the front of the boat, we have a 55 foot-pound thrust Minn Kota trolling motor, foot controlled. Works great if you're in uh, lakes or rivers or whatever. It's got enough power to keep the boat going. It's a perfect size for the weight and length of the boat. I have no issues with it being underpowered or not doing what I want. So this is a good option. Again, it didn't come with the boat. Uh, I opted to put it on. It was installed by Bass Pro and was ready by the time I picked up the boat. So if you're looking for a bass fishing boat, they already come pre-wired and ready to put one of these on, so it's a good option. All right, so up here we got our nav lights. This post light comes with the boat. Uh, standard, the boat comes legal to put in the water. They register it and all that. It comes with your lights and battery and everything. So this is your front post navigation system. This is the foot control for the Minn Kota, and it came with this seat in the short post. This isn't your tall bass fishing seat where you're going to lean against it and fish all day. This is a, a good blend between being comfortable driving and uh, duck hunting it fits fits good with the blind so and then underneath that we have the hatch for all your tackle and storage and I'll open that up and show you show you the mess I got in there so inside the hatch I store all my tackle for bass fishing my trolling motor battery is in here and uh, this is pretty good size about the width of the hatch itself and goes probably to the front of the foot control there so you get a good size of or idea of the size of the the hatch we got going on all right, so on the right side of the boat, we have a shotgun locker. It's removable, and it has a, uh, a ring for your padlock, so you're not worried about your shotgun getting stolen out of the boat. You stop at a gas station or something to get some snacks or, or whatever on the way out to the blind. So it pops open real easy, put whatever lock you want on it, comes up. It's good size. It is metal inside, so I would recommend putting uh, either a fleece liner in or keep your shotgun inside of your, your soft case, put it in here. There's a uh, storage section up here for your shotgun shells. Keep them up off the floor of the boat in case there's water from your waders or the dog or whatever. Your boxes aren't getting ruined. So, good option. It also comes out during the summertime, so you have more, more room in the floor. When you're bass fishing, throw a cooler over here or, or whatever you want. All right, y'all. So, this is the left side rod locker built in. Just a nice little view down inside there. It has three ports for the actual rods. Holds up to a seven and a half foot fishing rod. I've got three bait casters and a couple spinning rods in there fit just fine. Nice size. Goes up underneath the front fishing deck. So if you're an uh, amateur fisherman, this should work just fine for you. Hey guys, this... what are you laughing about? It took so long. I'm giving a pause. I know where to edit when I edit the video. We took too long. Why are you sitting in the boat? Oh, you know, I was going to take it around the block so you don't catch any fish and ditch pickles on the curb, babe. Waiting for a good heavy rain. Are you ready? Yeah. Hey, guys, we're in the back of the boat. Just want to give you a quick rundown. Got your control panel for your horn, nav lights, bilge pump, 12-volt cigarette lighter, charge your phone, run a spotlight, whatever you're going to do. And all your fuses are quick accessible. They're waterproof. There's extra few slots. You want to add LED light bars to the front or whatever you guys are doing, bow fishing or, or running out the rivers. Whatever you guys are doing, this is a perfect boat to do it. It's already set up. There's not a whole dramatic customization required to, to do pretty much anything you want with this boat. They, they thought ahead and they did well with it. Underneath this opening is your cranking battery uh, and your fire extinguisher. There's room for another battery. I don't have one in there because my troll motor's up front. But if you're one of those guys going to do long hauls in the boats, this thing's set up for it. Got your courtesy lights front and back, the push button. Um, just be careful when you're in the boat. I've noticed that co-anglers getting down, retying rigs, they bump these with their legs and stay on. Keep that in mind so you don't get stranded out there with no, uh, no battery running. All right, we're going to move to the motor. I'm going to show you that in the gas tank, so follow me to the back. All right, guys, as you can see, i got the back hatch. Your rear fishing deck flip, flips up, and you have access to your, your gas tank, all your wires, uh, your bilge pump. Everything's already back here, quick and accessible. It's not, it's not hard to get to. You got to change something, refill, whatever you got to do. It's nice and easy, big wide open space to be working in here. Um, there is a, a hole down here where your wires run down to the bottom of the boat and your bilge pump so you can look in there and make sure you're not 
too filled up on water, you know when to turn it on and off for your bilge pump. Now, your bilge pump is not automatic, so you're going to have to pay attention to it. Don't turn it on and, and accidentally leave it on. Uh, you'll cavitate it or burn it out. This right here is a power pull. There's wires going down underneath the boat. There's plenty of room if you want to wire stuff. There's big canals that run the wires through. So anything you want to add to the boat is nice and easy. Move the dead man switch so you guys can get a good view in there real quick. All right, y'all, moving on to the motor. It's a 25 horsepower Merc, came standard with the boat. You can upgrade it if you want. Um, it's tiller controlled. It is electric start, has a pulley for backup, and then inside, if you take the cowling off, it comes with a rope for emergency start, so you're not going to get stranded out duck hunting in cold water. Um, kill switch, clip it on your life jacket, waders, whatever you're going to do. This is pretty pretty sensitive. If it's not locked up in the full positions, so like you have an issue starting your motor, make sure this is engaged and, and to the full up. Um, it being a gear locks the motor from being flipped up in the trailering mode and down in driving mode. So pay attention to that. If you're having issues unlocking the motor, it's probably your throttle position. Has a kill switch on the front of the tiller, red button. Nice and easy. You're just driving around, push the button, and it, and it cuts off. No, no choking it out or anything like that. It's a very simple motor. Um, Bass Pro is telling me this is like one of the best, best motors to be putting on duck boats and things like that. Super reliable, very low maintenance. They run real good and they start every time. I have no issues with it. I love this motor. Uh, with this on here, it's 25 horse with two full-size adults. Like I'm a pretty good size dude, but he's about my size. And we can get up between 20 to 30 miles an hour, depending on what's in the boat. So plenty of power for what I'm doing. If you want to go a little faster where you're going, you're probably going to need to upgrade it. But other than that, this thing's a beast. I love it. Come on around the backside and I'll show you the power pole I put on here. The options I added to my boat was this uh, power pole micro. It's a micro anchor. It's an eight and a half foot fiberglass stake with uh, electric motor plugs right into my cranking battery. Uh, this thing is phenomenal. I, I had issues stopping on bass beds and things like that. And I didn't want to be dealing with ropes and, and anchors coming up out, out of the ground with seaweed. This is a perfect alternative. Um, I love this thing. It's got three controls. One on the head of the, the motor here. I have a lanyard that goes around my neck when I'm fishing and launching or covering the boat. And then I have another one that's stuck up to the, uh, the front fishing deck. This is an eight and a half foot fiberglass rod. Goes down pretty good. Keep in mind you're not getting a full eight and a half feet of, of anchor. You got to account for how far the motor plate to the bottom of the boat is, and then whatever the difference is is how much water you can go through before you stake down. Um, the pontoons back here, they're not from the dealership. Told me they're not for uh, like hunters and fishermen climbing in and out of the boat, but they rubberize them for the dogs to come in, so you're not dealing with dog ladders and things like that. Dog come right up here. All right, so another another thing comes with this boat are these uh, these U bolts that are bolted through the back of the transom. These are actually for towing kids on like inner tubes, things like that. Obviously, you're not gonna be having any adults back there having a good time, but you got some small children and you want kind of a all purpose boat. This is a good option for you. It's a triangular buoy system. There's a float that goes out behind the boat, so it doesn't get tangled up when you're outboard. You can hook up small children on on your inner tubes and cruise around the lake. Uh, should be should be a good boat for you if you're looking for something like that. All right, y'all. Just to conclude, I'm gonna give you some specs on the boat real quick. So the boat itself is 16.4 feet long, and six feet wide. Total trailering or stowage length is 20 feet eight inches. So uh, if you're worried about it fitting your garage, where's your dimensions? If you want any more information on the boat? You go to Bass Pro or Tracker. Uh, boats.com and they have all the dimension specs and options i got it in the green they have two other camel patterns you could purchase i appreciate you watching the whole video uh, give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned there's more content coming thank you very much